<laughs> the damage to Libya's largest oil refinery is being described as catastrophic. Fighting between rival militias has destroyed half the capacity of Raslanov terminal. Libya's National Oil Corporation says oil leaks could cause more fires and blames the damage on fighters loyal to Ibrahim Jadran. The main and most important goal is to lift the injustice our tribes and families are facing during the past two years. Jadran ran the port and other facilities in the so-called oil crescent until late 2016 when the warlord Khalifa Hefter seized control. His forces are now battling hard to regain lost territory. The U.S. has been quick to condemn the attacks at Al-Sidra and Ras Lanouf. In a statement from the U.S. Embassy in Tripoli, it calls for an immediate end to the violence which it says is damaging Libya's vital national infrastructure. I think we've lost somewhere in the region of 400,000 uh, barrels per day in, in, in export capacity, which roughly translates to around 800 million a month. So I think it's a substantial loss in terms of Libya's economic uh, ability. Libya's oil exports have reached more than 1 million barrels a day in the past year, bringing in vital income. That's despite the country being run by rival governments, one in Tripoli which is backed by the United Nations, the other based in the eastern city of Al-Baida and backed by Haftar. The damage to Ras Lanouf is already likely to cost $800 million a month in lost revenue. Exports have halted. The question is, for how long? Mahmoud Abdelwahid, Al Jazeera, Tripoli.